Let's use IDS to connect to a vehicle. Now I've got the VCM2 set up. It's connected wirelessly to my laptop here. And I'm going to start a new session. So the very first thing I'm going to do is hit my new session up here. And this is not a 17 pin. It is not a Titan. If you're wondering where that comes from, by the way, the IDS is a universal tool. And even though there is different software from one Ford manufacturer to another, this thing can be used, and if you were to go to any other country in the world that's got Ford products, you'd see the same basic screen. I hit the blue tick because this is an all other. Um, now, here's a screen that may pop up on you that may not. I previously connected to this vehicle and did some work on it, and I've got a session here on the IDS, and it says, oh, by the way, this same car was found in a previous session. Would I like to go back to that session? I've got the choice here of to say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Why might you choose one or the other? I might want to go back to a previous session. If I was working on the car, I had to do some surgery. I gave the, the IDS to somebody else in the shop. Now I'm back on it, so I don't have to go through some of the uh, preliminary setup. Or if the car was here previously and I want a new session, then I'm going to pick, no, I don't want to go back to it. So I'm going to pick, no, I don't want to go back to it. Uh, and the first screen that comes up is the vehicle specification. Now you want to take a quick look at this and make sure that the, what's listed here is what I've got alongside me. And yep, I've got a Focus, gasoline direct injection, 2 liter automatic, 50 state emission. Is this correct? I go ahead and say yes. Now at this point I can put in an RO number. Again, this is some good information for me to keep track of, of various things. You can see that the mileage is already in there. I hit the tick, and again, I'm now ready to go. And so I, at this point, I have now identified this car to this scan tool. And that is one of the unique differences of this particular scan tool as compared to some of the other generic ones, is that I haven't selected a 2013 Focus. I've selected this gray Focus behind me to talk to. And so the next step then is to get into what do I need to do to the vehicle. But this is how you set the car up to initially start to talk to the car with IDS.